welcome back, and this is part two of the uh, Tone V3 tutorial. Uh, okay, so let's just jump right in. Okay. So what you need is basically these. Uh, it's just a little quicker if I just point out the pieces instead of actually build it alongside here. Even though I did that for the first part, I want to try and make this as quick because we do have a lot to get through. This part I'm just gonna do. Like just naming the pieces. Next time I'm probably gonna go in depth again, but yeah. Okay, uh, two one by one cheese wedges or one by two cheese wedge on a two by three plate on another two by three plate that's offset. Uh, two by one bracket with a grill and some more grills. You can probably just see that and build it. But yeah. Okay, next part the actual waist with the leg attaches to. So a two by if I focus a two by two bottom plate with a two by one bracket if I just change the light there we go much better clip and clip like wait no like so then you want a two by two plate a two uh, uh, these pieces just put on side by side and then basically any bricks up but a any brick here that just spans this way this bit and two one by one bricks with a studs on either side the other side any kind of brick again uh, two plates uh, one by two and another one by two bracket uh, I'll just let you have a look at that use the light to make shine out the piece of the lines. Okay, then that clips, then you want a 2x4 plate with a 1x2 a one, a one uh, tile, uh, one, and then a 2x2 two two plate or two 1x2 plates, whatever, and then that just attaches on, and you want one of these bricks that attaches on, this attaches on there, like so, and then these kind of just hook on the studs, just to give it a little more security. And then the back is a 2x4 plate, uh, with a 2x1 tiles just here, with deco printing for decoration, uh, two 2x1 plates with sidebars, and these two flaps, and one of those pieces to attach on this tile. Then here is a 2x1 piece with one of this thing, so and then you just put a stud in there, do the opposite for this side, and then put it on one of these uh, two 1x4 engine pieces with a two 1x1 che cheese wedges or one 1x2 cheese wedge. That goes on top, making it look nice. And then this just attaches on these studs, like so. And that is your waist. So let's move into the arms and then the hull. Or the hull and then the arms, doesn't make matter. I'm probably going to do hull. Uh, arms and hull. Yeah, okay. So let's the move. arms consist of these parts. Uh, okay, so let's get in, straight into it again. Uh, uh, one, by, one by two plates right there. Uh, if I just break some of this off, another one by two plate right there. Then a one by two bracket piece followed by a one by two cheese wedge and a one by two grill attaching on. And then there's just a one by two slope with a clip, one by one clip and a one by one cheese wedge. So this makes like the shoulder. Then next you want a stud put on a 1x2 one by two, one by two plate uh, which is on top of a 1x3 plate making this like this kind of look kind of looks a bit like a graph if, you can, if it's like that but yep okay then a 1x2 plate here a 1x2 plate with one of these balls or these ball socket joint pieces the ball end of that and then you just get these two uh, and that there, just clips onto this, that which builds the 
a shoulder. And then you get one of these ball socket pieces with a 1x2 grill on top. Then get a 1x2 uh, wedge plate with a with a 1x2 uh, slope grill slope. And these just smack together like so. And finally the hand is a 1x2 one by, one by plate on top of a 1x2 clip and a 1x2 bar piece that attaches into these, this clip. Then you get a 1x1 one one, uh, clip with a tap piece and you just get one of these other ball socket pieces. These clip together and then that's one arm. Uh, then you just basically replicate it for the other arm and this weapon is basically my top, my second iteration of my tone. If you find that video, uh, I'll try to put a link down in the description uh, or just, if I can't be bothered, I'll just put a comment with a link in it in this video so you can just look at the tutorial for this gun. And let's move to the hull. Uh, okay, the first step of the hull is this base. So you want one of these pieces on top of a 4x4 round plate, which went like that. Then you want a... Uh, I can pry it apart. Hang on, I just need to get my brick separator. I always keep one of these on me at all times. Okay, it ain't working, but that uh, I remember under there is a two by three plate which goes here, and one of these uh, hinges. So I'm just gonna snap this off. So two by three plate goes from there along here. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's where it'll go. Then two one by four plates along either side, making a four by four square. And on top of that, you have a if I can pry it open, yeah, you can kind of just see the lines, but then you have a 2x4 plate and a 2x4 tile, these two, then some uh, two 2x3 two uh, plates attached on like so. Then you get this set up, uh, which is a two of these 1x2 clip, uh, a plate with the clips on them. They just stick stick out to them. And this is overhang. Then you get one of these uh, one by four plates, jam it on top. Next, you get this is the side. So you get one of these uh, one by two uh, upward wedge. I don't know. I'm just guessing here with these names. Then a two by four plate, a one by four plate, and a one by two tile, one by two sloped grill. Which is on a one by two wedge, which has a two by four wedge surface, whatever. But just one, you need two of these because this is the side. So this just fits on. Uh, that's there. This needs to go back on the bottom. And yeah, you basically build two of these. Uh, but first, you get two. Uh, two by two uh, round plates so that way because of the axle hole you can fit in one of these axle ball joint pieces put on one of the clips and a red one by two grill so this attaches on this clips on like so another one clips on like so then this is here is very thick uh, it contains of C on a two, a three by four surface going two plates uh, deep. Uh, you can build that any way you want. You have six of these one by two uh, slope pieces. Um, yeah, and then you basically get a. Oh, for a second I thought a piece break, but it's just two by one clip with the clips on them, or two 2x1 plates with the clips, any one 
doesn't really matter. And these just attach on it one end. Then you put down a 2x2 two two plate, down like so, a 1x2 plate, and two 1x1 one one cheese wedges, and then this 2x2 two two plate that just attaches on and folds in. Okay, then the back is a one of these, um, and basically built up. A 2x4 plate, a 1x2 plate, or another 1x2 plate with these bar pieces. On top of that 2x4 you have a 1x2 downward wedge, like so. Then you have two 1x1 one one, uh, plates, right there if I focus. Um, some more cheese wedges spanning up here. A 2x2 a two two, uh, surface up here with a plate or two 2x1 two plates with a 2x2 two two round tile. Then the top part of the doors is constructed of, this is like one of probably my best eye mechanisms, a 1x2 uh, cheese wedge on a 1x2 uh, plate thingo, uh, another wedge I'm pretty sure or bracket, yeah, bracket. Uh, then you have a two by two uh, slope, like so, with one of these plates here again. Then you have a two by two. Uh, sorry for the cut. Uh, there were some storage issues, but back into things. Two by four plate with two of these one by two bricks with the slope and the cheese wedge on top. Got two of them. One by two, one by two brick with a hole and put a stud on the other side, one of these wacko plates and another 1x2, one by two, no, one by one stud with a hole in it and one of these 1x1 one one round tiles and put that on, put this on, clip this on, clip this on and then put this and attach on Closes up, and then the last part is a one by four plate, two by six plate. On top of that, we have a one by one cheese wedge, or two of them. Then you just put a one by one plate, a uh, one by one tile, another two by two tile, a two by one tile with clips. Any way you want to do that, just put clips on so then like, this can come up. Uh, then you want a two by one plate. Uh, with one of these bits attaching onto a one by one clip, with one of these bits onto a two by two by one tail with a stud and a two by one plate, and that gives you your rocket launchers. Jam these together. That's your hull. Then these arms, these plates up here, they attach in. Attach in. This goes on to these four studs. And then the legs clip on the side and clip on the side and done. I'm sorry if this was so rushed. I barely have any storage on my iPad, so I gotta just, which is what I used to film. Yeah, it's kind of sad. But I have barely any storage left of just so much stuff. I need to clear it out, but. Sorry for it being, it being rushed, but there is the tutorial in two parts. I hope this was enough. I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Gotta crack it back. Um, yeah, sure, this one. Get my scissors out. Do a slit here. Yeah, this is my new method of cracking packs. And you just slit like so, another slit, yep, and what do we get, okay, we 
God, a human soldier, a blood filled caves, and a bonders enclave. I already got one in my promo pack. Ah, uh, well, we got a Void Beckoner, Cunning Knight Bonder, Primal Empathy, Springjaw Trap, Adventurous Impulse, Windfall Terror, Terran, Blade Banish, Cast of Wind, Coordinated Charge, Brute Nipper, ooh, Brute Nipper, a Dark Bargain, a Ferocious, Ferocious Tigerilla, and Patagia Tiger. So, I hope this was a good enough tutorial for you. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.